Hey everyone, this is Paula from CropNitsAndCrafts.blogspot.com and from YouTube and Ustream Laughing Stamper channel. Uh, this is a baby book that I completed recently that is for the uh, our local women's shelter. Our cropping group gets together and this is a project that we work on. And all the materials were purchased <clears throat> or donated and I think there uh, we probably have enough to do maybe half a dozen books easily and um, we spent about fifty dollars. So things were a um, few things were donated, some things came from dollar shops, uh, the die cuts and things those were mine already uh, and a lot of them I purchased um, on, on clearance at sizzix.com so they were you know that was a really good deal when you can buy a, a die for five dollars or what what have you so uh, here's the front. I used my Cricut here for the giraffe and for the word baby. And then we have some Martha Stewart ribbon here that's been discontinued. And the It's a Boy sticker came from Martha Stewart. <clears throat> These were things I picked up. Um, I think I picked those things up at Big Lots. Okay, and here we have um, uh, the birth announcement and this ribbon came from Michaels for dollar roll and then on this side uh, this was picked up at Big Lots probably for a dollar for a pack of those and then some more uh, ribbon from Michaels that was a dollar cut the word baby out on my Cricut and then this is just the top note die and I used a piece of packaging for the acetate for that picture frame. And then here we have a little fold out and we have a tag right here with a little <clears throat> journal spot and a little plastic bite baby bottle I picked up at one of our dollar shops. And then there are some buttons here to the side from my button collection. And then this is actually a fold out. And then there's also space on the back for journal spots and photos. First time I saw you is just a sticker that came from one of the dollar shops. Then I used the Tim Holtz Baroque die and Nestabilities to make these frames. And the Happy New Baby was a Stampin' Up set. And then the word boy I cut out with my Cricut. I think uh, that's the storybook cartridge. And this little safety pin was then, there again. That was from the dollar shop. And here's a die I picked up for um, $5, $3.99, something along those lines. It's the bathtub from Sizzix. And then I used my Nestabilities to cut mats. And then I also have an oval that's cut um, so this can be used um, on the photograph to place on here and, and trace so it's easy to um, to cut the photo for the right size and this also so works a couple places in the in the books so uh, and then I have bubble time I did on my Cricut and just use some stickles there were also bubbles already on the die and then I added more down here and I added the um, the, the soap and the um, the duck that was cut on the um, with the die also and I just added that up there so that's a pocket Then over here we have a pocket and that's just a stamp from Stampin Up and this pops out it's a baby bottle card this is really nice because this can be used for a lot of different um, a lot of different items to make little booklets if you leave the top off of it so anyway, I just cut two of the bottom of the bottle to make a little booklet so photos and things can go in here. And when we turn the page, we have a, another stamp. This was a dollar stamp from Michaels, I believe. I'm not certain. And then we have a couple of little um, journal spots. Maybe put a photo on there. Okay. And... Uh, then this is a 
um, envelope die from Stampin' Up! that I already had. It's a nice pocket, be nice for a lock of hair, something like that. And then over here, um, these little beads came from the dollar shop. The stamp is from Scrolls Work, and I just hand colored that with uh, watercolor. And that's on watercolor paper. Use my nest abilities. And then this is Velcro. This is just a die cut that came in a pack of die cuts I purchased for a dollar. And then I made this little booklet up. So we have um, a photo frame here, and this pops out so that you can cut the right size, um, cut the photo down to the right size. And then um, here I've taken the top note die, cut it in half, added some bling and some vellum. Uh, it says, the Lord has an incredible destiny for you. And that's a pocket here. And made some journal spots and places for photos on those. Put a little bling on there. And then this folds up. I took uh, another die and Cut this out of uh, some Stampin' Up! cardstock, ran it through my cuddle bug, uh, and then the flowers here are a combination of a Stampin' Up! punch, and there's some little felt flowers on here that were picked up um, from Tuesday morning in a little, little bottle of bling I purchased. And then the feet are um, embossed with white embossing powder onto this cardstock. And we have a little frame, another little envelope pocket, but in here we have ticket punch and it's a place to journal and or add photos or both whatever you want and then this is just another place to add a photo and there again that same oval can be used and here uh, I used a round punch and uh, a uh, journal spot stamp so that it can be used for photo and journaling and then this is just chipboard that I used some what did I use uh, some pearl embossing powder is what I did on that and then that closes up and that's the last page the only thing that's left is to put our little logo on the back and that's it I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please um, leave a comment and let me know and uh, I'll be talking to you soon.